uh, screwed. Uh, basically, screwed. The, what does that the, mean? The coalition made the wrong bet. Uh, they supported the bond market instead of the real economy. Supported the bond market. They supported the bankers. They supported bailouts. They got this funding for lending scheme where the bankers are just hoarding the money. They're not lending the money. They're using it to play uh, off the central bank for rent seeking. And as a result, they've squeezed out the real economy. The bond market now, here's the joke, Andrew. The bond market is now on the verge of a major correction, a major sell off. So, this is why I say the economy is screwed. You mean the British uh, government gilts? The gilt gilts. market is now, it's at a, was, was at a 300 because year our high. The yield is rising now. That's right, the yields are rising now because the bond I'm, markets are coming down. Because and the cost of insuring ups. a British debt is rising. That's correct. So, the, and sterling is slipping. That's, so if that's you right. look at the forex and the bond markets, there's a sense that these markets are now saying, hey, this government's fiscal stance doesn't have credibility. If the financial markets, the people who lend us money to pay for this huge deficit we're running, if they start to lose confidence, because the one thing the government's always put, it doesn't say it's actually a QE that's doing it, but the one thing the government, and Mr. Alexander said it again, oh, well, interest rates are low, people are lending us money, we've got confidence. If that confidence goes, and as you say, there are straws in the wind, well, you've seen the yield is moving up, and the rating so, agencies so are what, saying they're going to downgrade right. British debt. That means and, the cost goes up again. And the markets have kind of factored that in already. So, what's the consequence? They haven't factored it in already. The markets are poised to right, begin well, tell to me what attack the, the British is. pound. What's the consequence? Uh, Where that, does this end, as far as, uh, as Craig says, as far as the ordinary voter is concerned? Where are we heading? Well, I was watching Andrew Neil last night on uh, the weekly politics show, and Michael Portillo this made week. this week, and he's saying the devaluation, British pound devalue. Well, well that's already devalue. underway. Well, there's going to be a sharp devaluation. You think a sharp one? Yeah, absolutely. Now, a lot of when I tweet that, a lot of people then say, "Oh, well, that's good for exports." I then point out that the pound was devalued by almost 20 percent after 2008, and our exports are up 0.1 percent. Right. It, that, that's a misnomer to say it's, it, it has been. What it means is more inflation. That, that's right. The cost of imports goes up, and as you point out, there hasn't been a net gain in exports, even though the pound has depreciated. <laughs>
of his government. Arrogant, patrician, out of touch, pig-headed, some might say. <laughs>